to an appeal from police and health specialists that could save your child from serious injury, even death. Airbags may be designed to save lives, but they can turn a minor incident into a major problem for kids under the age of 12. Laura Sparks has a very personal account of the dangers we can face. If you let a child sit in the, in the front seat and they're too small, you run the risk of them being injured by the airbag. We see crashes every day where children have been injured um, from being in the front seat of a car. They're supposed to save lives. People need to understand is that those airbags are designed for adults. They're not designed for children. But instead, airbags are doing the opposite, causing serious injuries to kids sitting in the front passenger seat. And that can range from mild injuries such as bruising to much more significant presentations such as severe concussions. We also occasionally see eye-related trauma due to airbag deployment and sometimes injuries to the neck. Unfortunately, I personally know the dangers of putting a child in the front seat of a car. Just the other day, my nine-year-old son was sitting right here in the front seat when this car was involved in a head-on collision. Immediately, the airbags were deployed and they hit him directly here at the front of his forehead. He suffered a severe concussion and was raced to hospital by ambulance. In emergency at Sydney Children's Hospital, he was rushed from x-rays to CT scans, vomiting and incoherent. At one point, he didn't even know his own name. It was truly terrifying. I think that it's always incredibly distressing for parents to see a change in their child's behaviour. He's had a settled night. Kelly Wilson is the clinical nurse consultant in trauma at Sydney Children's Hospital. It's here where kids like my son end up. I think it often surprises the parents because they tend to have a perception that airbags are a safety device that, is, uh, that are going to keep their children safely restrained in the event of a motor vehicle crash when in fact they can often contribute to the injuries that a child may experience. It is illegal to allow kids under seven to sit in the front seat but after their seventh birthday there is no law against it. Yet airbag manufacturers don't design airbags with children in mind. In order to be able to protect the biggest men who might sit in the front seat an airbag has to come out at about 200 kilometres an hour. Um, that doesn't mean that that's the right speed and the right strength for a small child sitting in the front seat. Professor Lynn Bilston is the principal researcher at Neuroscience Research Australia. Her studies into brain injuries lead her directly to airbags. So airbag systems are designed for an adult male, so the average adult male who's about 75 kilos and 180 centimetres tall. Um, they're also tested with small female crash test dummies who are about uh, 150 centimetres, 145 to 150 centimetres tall. And that's really the smallest person that should be sitting in the front seat. 150 centimetres is the height of an average 12 year old. It's this age that Lynn suggests is safe for kids to finally travel up front. Some car manuals indicate the height minimum can be slightly shorter at 140 centimetres. If you're shorter, like a child, then what would happen is the airbag would come out and it would come out somewhat over the top of your head uh, and so that you wouldn't actually get the, the nice even loading all the way down the front of the body um, which supports your whole body in the crash. And that increases their risk of injuries to the head and the neck. The latest research proves kids between 9 and 15 are 70% safer in the back seat of newer cars compared to sitting in the front. In the UK, it's illegal for children to sit in the front seat until they're 12 or 135 centimetres tall. The US Federal Health Department suggests all children under 13 should sit in the back seat because airbags can kill young children riding in the front seat. It's very concerning when we actually go to a crash and there are small children um, in the front seat of a car. Senior Sergeant Sophie Stone is from the New South Wales Police Metropolitan Crash Investigation Unit. She sifts through hundreds of fatal car crashes every year and she has this one warning for parents. Just put them in the back seat. Explain to them that it's for their own safety. We need to get them to start thinking of their own safety and caring about themselves. And whether that be 8, 10, 12 years old, it's safer in the back seat.